Good morning and welcome to the Apple Tree. Today we will be discussing Black Adam. Spoilers ahead as there will be some spoilers in this video. Black Adam. What have your powers ever given to you? Nothing but heartache. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a detail of what this movie is about and I'm going to go into the um, things that are great about this movie and then the things that are not so great about this movie and then just my overall opinion of some of the things that happened in it and kind of give you then my rating of what I thought this movie was like. So to start, um, this movie is about Black Adam who's been asleep for nearly 5,000 years and he's finally been awakened. However, he does not realize that the times have changed in the last 5,000 years so he just becomes a threat to humanity as the people who awoke him ask him to go around killing people that have wronged them. So he goes around and starts killing these people. Though they are evil people, he just goes around and starts murdering people. My son sacrificed his life to save me. Now, I kneel before no one. Therefore, the Justice Society, which consists of the Atom Smasher, Cyclone, Dr. Fate, and Hawkman, race over to the Egyptian town to imprison him. However, when a new villain arrives, Black Adam may be the only person that can stop him, as the Justice Society doesn't appear to be a threat to him. And that's what this movie's kind of about. It's a, like a Black Adam origin story, and then you also have the introduction of the Justice Society. So I'm going to give you a little bit of what I liked about this film. Now, Black Adam may be some kind of an anti-hero in the beginning, but toward the end, he tries to become the protector of the people in his city. He doesn't want any harm to come to his people. He's kind of one of those people like Spider-Man. He, he looks out over one area. Uh, Black Adam looks over one area. He's seen on multiple occasions saving the citizens of his town, and in the end, he explains to the people that he's going to be their protector, not their king as it has been in the past, because he believes they need to be have freedom, which is really good to see. Dr. Fate sees the future and realizes that his friends are going to die. He's one of those people who are able to see into the future, and he realizes they're going to die unless he does something about it that involves a personal sacrifice, which he does to protect his team. This film has some great funny quips and jokes that allow some laughter in such a serious film. It's, it can be a dark film at times, but the humor, some of the humors, it, it changes the tone a little bit. I also want to add, there is no sexual content in this film. That's amazing for a superhero movie. And there's no drug content either. So that's outstanding. So those are two really good things about this film. I was a slave until I died. Then I was reborn a god. Now, the... The rotten apples, there are a, there's a lot of violence in this film. We see many people shot and killed. Black Adam uses his lightning to literally cook humans until they turn into skeletons. And he's also seen tearing a person in half. Some people are stabbed. And this movie, it definitely earns its PG-13 rating. It almost got R a couple of times, but they tried to uh, remake the film a couple of times to make it down to PG-13. So that definitely is something to consider when watching this film. There is a one villain who resembles a devil, and he awakens the demons in hell to fight as his army. So th th there's, there's that kind of spiritual content, plus you hear some about mythical gods. And so it's kind of like the Shazam movie. You, you got people that say they're gods and the power of Zeus and all that. So uh, beware of that. The language wasn't too terrible in this film. There was five uses of the S word and three uses of the A word. Uh, and that's about all I heard for uh, language, which is pretty good compared to other superhero films. And now I'm going to talk about why I like this movie. So this is personal opinion, but I, I did want to go into the fact that uh, we finally got a superhero movie that doesn't teach woke politics. This film sticks to a story and it tells a great story while keeping the audience entertained. If DC keeps this up, they will easily tower over Marvel. In the, I mean, I know the box office wasn't great for Black Adam and I know the critics came out and said stuff that made people not want to see it, but it's a great movie. I recommend you check it out because it's just amazing what they can do with these these superheroes that they can't that the Justice Society and everything. It's a major relief to meet new heroes like the Justice Society. And there's there's a want for more content with them. I've seen many people asking for a Doctor Fate movie, which by the way, Doctor Fate in this film is amazing. He is 
equal to Doctor Strange, if not better. We need a movie for that. We need a movie for all of them or some kind of series because they're great. Adam Smasher, they're, they're, they're perfect. It was, it was a great lead in for them because I don't know if Black Adam could have held the entire movie by his own because there's only so much you can tell about him in just one movie. But the Justice Society definitely added a new concept. I also love the fact that there was no sexual or drug content in this film being forced on my eyes. I could just enjoy a film about action and adventure, which is what I paid to go. But the violence content is definitely something to consider, as some people may think that it's too much. I personally, there was only one scene that I thought was a little bit much, and that was when they cooked the person on screen. But, I mean, other than that, I mean, I didn't see it being too dark comparative to other things that I've seen. Um, in the end, this film did a great job of entertaining the audience and provided a really great story. Uh, it was more for entertainment. There wasn't exactly a, like a meaning to come behind, like a good lesson or anything. So, I mean, there wasn't that, but it was good entertainment. Like it was a good two hours of en enjoyment. The violent content, like I've said a couple times, was a bit much. But honestly, I hope this film does great. I hope the box office really does well um, because it deserves it. I mean, it's a comparative to Marvel films. This film is doing better, in my opinion, than Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness, and um, Thor, Love, and Thunder. I think No Way Home was still pretty good, but Black Adam easily towers over the other two. And I'm not, and that's not even going into the fact that in the post credit scene we see Superman return. So now we're going to get a Man in Black versus the Man of Steel coming up. I don't know, The, the Rock said that it's not going to be the next part of DC, but that's going to come, and that's going to be great. Um, so just let me know in the comments what you thought about this film, and we can chat about it and go from there. Thank you. Thank you for watching our video today. If you liked it, please leave us a like so we can know that you appreciated the video and make more awesome content. If you continue to like our content, please give us a subscribe so that you will get notified whenever we release a video. Thank you again for watching today, and we hope to see you around soon.